other day I was wondering, where does the blood go when it leaves the heart? Well, it starts off in the pulmonary trunk, and then it goes to the ascending aorta. From there, it breaks off into the brachiocephalic and into the left subclavian vein, in my piggy that is. From the brachiocephalic, it then divides into three sections, really. The left common carotid, the right common carotid, and the right subclavian. When I traced it down the, subcla the right subclavian, I found it went to the right auxiliary and to the right brachial. The right brachial turned into the right ulnar and the right radial. So then I backtracked a little bit until I went back until we came across the left subclavian. And that one, well that just branched and it turned into the left auxiliary and then the left brachial. And from there, it went to the left radial and the left ulnar. But then I was curious, what happens if we didn't go down that left subclavian? Well, then we would have gone to the descending or the thoracic aorta. Once, we went, once I went past the diaphragm, I found a celiac artery and also a superior mesenteric artery. Then, it split to two adrenal lumbars. And later on, it split to two renals. After that, it continued down the abdominal aortas, where it went to the gonadals, two of them. And shortly after, it went just to one inferior mesenteric. But then, right after that, it went to two iliolumbars. Just when I thought it was through, it went to two external iliacs. Now, if you just followed one of the external iliacs, such as the left, then you would then if then I found it divided even to again into the femoral and the deep femoral. <laughs> but then, if we just kept it going down the abdominal aorta, we'd find that that would go into two umbilicals and the internal iliac. Now, if you follow that down, it would turn into the median sacral. Or, if you followed the umbilicals, which surround the bladder, it would finally end up with the umbilical cord. And that is when I discovered some key points like two branches off the arc of the aorta, the brachiocephalic, and the left subclavian. Then I found that the subclavian in the thoracic cavity is also the auxiliary in the armpit and the brachial in the upper arm. This is the same vessel with three names. I was so relieved when I discovered that the brachial divides into the ulnar and the radial at the elbow. Now fourth is that during the celiac, goes to the stomach, the liver, the pancreas, and the spleen, but I won't let you worry about that. But then, later on, was the superior mesenteric, which serves the upper intestines. And who can forget about that inferior mesenteric to support the lower intestines? Lastly, the external iliacs left the body cavity and entered the thigh, and those were called the femorals. Oh, I'm not going to do that again.